Let's quickly talk about how Tamara Clark completed one of the best sprint doubles at the USA Championships this past weekend. Now, at the USA Championships in Eugene, Oregon, just this past weekend, in the 100 and 200 meters, we saw Tamara Clark make the team for the World Championships by finishing second place in the 200, as well as fifth place in the 100 to be part of the relay pool. There were a plethora of women who finished ahead of Clark though, which might have overshadowed her performances. In addition, entering these championships, she hadn't run any significantly fast races to really be put on anyone's radar. Her season's best entering these USA Championships were 11.43 seconds in the 100 meters, as well as 22.62 seconds in the 200 meters. So nothing really special. But she had run some windy times in the 100 of 10.98, 10.94, and 10.83, as well as a windy time of 21.72 in the 200. Despite that, there were so many other women who had been running significantly faster throughout the season that really pushed Tamara Clark a little bit under the radar. Now, looking at her personal best, she had run 10.96 seconds back in April of 2021, as well as 21.98 seconds in the 200 back in June of 2021, when she finished fourth place at the Olympic trials. While she was in the NCAA competing for Alabama, back in 2019, she had finished second place in the indoor 200 meters, then last year, she finished fourth place in the indoor 60, second place in the indoor 200, third place in the outdoor 100, and second place in the outdoor 200 meters. So she was having an extremely consistent season, running some very fast times, and really prepping herself for the pro career that she's running in now. Now currently, she trains under Tanya Buford Bailey along with names like Gabby Thomas, Tyena Gaither, as well as some other women. Entering these championships, she managed to put the hammer down very quickly. In the 100 meters, opening up in the heats, she ran 10.94 seconds, which was second place behind Aaliyah Hobbs in her heat, and it was a personal best, improving on her previous best of 10.96 seconds. She followed things up in the semifinals of the 100, running 10.88 seconds, another personal best, getting third place behind Aaliyah Hobbs as well as Melissa Jefferson. At that point, because the 200 meters is probably her better event, she was very likely on pace to hit something fast in the 200 meters later on in that weekend. But she turned things around in the finals of the 100 meters, ran 10.82 seconds. It was windy with a plus 2.9 meter per second win, but she finished fifth place behind Melissa Jefferson, Aaliyah Hobbs, Twenty Terry, as well as Tamari Davis. Again, improving her personal best all the way down to 10.88 seconds in the 100 meters from that 10.96 she had run last year. Now, enter the 200 meters. Again, she came to this championship with a season's best of 22.62 seconds. She immediately threw the hammer down, running a season's best of 22.29 seconds to win her opening heat. She followed things up in the semifinals, running 22.05 seconds, another season's best, and that was actually her second fastest time ever, only behind her personal best of 21.98 seconds from last year. Now, getting to the finals, Tamara Clark went on to run 21.92 seconds, a personal best, and finishing just second place behind Abby Steiner. She actually was ahead of Abby Steiner all the way through 150 meters and just got passed in that last 50. Now, the only other athlete who doubled in the 100 and 200 meters and finished in the top five of both sprints was Fred Curley on the men's side, who of course won the 100 meters and got third place in the 200 meters. Yes, those who finished ahead of Tamara Clark in the respective events were absolutely amazing. Abby Steiner running 21.77 seconds, dominating performance. Melissa Jefferson running 10.69, plus Aaliyah Hobbs and Twanisha Terry in second and third place behind her. Also, Tamari Davis in the 100 meters, still just 19 years old, went pro out of high school last year and finished fourth place in the 100. All these women threw down amazing performances, but definitely keep an eye out for Tamara Clark as she will be making an impact on the track, not only in Eugene at these world championships, but also in the years to come. So go in the comments below, let me know what you think of Tamara Clark's chances as we get to these world championships and what the future for Tamara Clark looks like. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.